Uh, Mohit, now let's talk about what is common uh, right across these. One is, uh, like you said, that the risk is very high across the board for all of these funds, right? So uh, what are the risk adjusted returns like? I mean, I'm looking at the one year and the three year. And while most of these funds have done well, uh, you know, in the last one year, particularly the commodity funds, um, what do the risk adjusted returns look like uh, for investors? Look, so uh, honestly, though the returns look classy for last one year, but they look classy as as uh, as well for your index funds, large cap funds, for your small and mid caps in the Indian market as well. Like look at small cap funds in Indian market. They're like around 120 odd percent return on an average last one year. Mid caps are around 100 odd percent, 80 odd percent return. Large caps are around 75 percent odd return last one year performance. Right. So when you compare to that basket, uh, the risk, the returns are in line. Uh, they're not like outrageously high. Uh, maybe for some of the themes, it might be the case. Uh, but look, again, then there are caveats. Uh, there are multiple factors one has to take into cognizance before you uh, dabble into these kind of theme themes. Uh, I'll just uh, capture one by one. Uh, so let's say uh, international funds. Okay. Now, international funds, you have to be wary of taxation. It will entail debt taxation. First of all, not many investors are aware of it that this is a debt taxation kind of a product. So uh, typically a holding period of three years and plus is advisable so that you at least get that indexation benefit and, and uh, a reasonable taxation out there. Otherwise, it is taxed at marginal rate. Right. So that's one. Uh, you have the underlying currency risk out there, which can be huge. Uh, last one year, rupee hasn't uh, depreciated enough to last 10, 20 years of track record on rupee is 3.5 percent annual depreciation. And that will keep a the overall return if rupee depreciates but if uh rupee were to go the other way then be prepared for a negative mark on your uh, on your funds return and then few of these underlying themes are too exotic for a normal investor to understand and i've always believed that if you don't understand something you better stay away from it so unless and until you're very clear as to what you're getting into it's avoidable but there are index for uh, international funds which just is an index uh, like a nasdaq or an s those are still good enough right so you you investing in broader markets out there so that's on the international side. So basically, don't look at the returns in isolation. Look at it uh, compared to perhaps a diversified equity fund where the uh, you know, risk would be much lower and then see whether it still uh, stands to reason that you should invest in these funds.